call the meeting to order. Uh, first order of business is to consider the adoption of the meeting agenda. So moved. Second. All right. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. All right. Any opposed? Uh, approval of the previous meeting minutes. Those were emailed out. I make a motion we approve the written. Second. Second. All right. Any discussion? Changes? All in favor say aye. Any opposed? All right. Public input. Just got a question. Just curious. I wanted to hear the status of the FBO. Um, we're we're going to talk about that when we get to engineer. Are you okay to wait sure. for that? And we'll, we'll talk, talk about everything when we get to Phil's report. If you're okay with that, because we've got several things going and. And, uh, no problem. And, and I tell you what, if, if you if you don't get everything answered, that we'll let you okay. ask whatever is not completed then. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good deal. Um, the uh, Ed's not here to give treasurer's report, uh, but I don't know if y'all got it, but I emailed out uh, Charlene's report just. Uh, probably an hour before I left the office, but I'm going to let Randy give his report because a lot of that has to do with the fuel report. It looked very good, actually. And uh, when Randy gives fuel report, then we'll, I'll entertain any questions about the financial report as well. <coughs> Randy? This last quarter was a good quarter. Well, the last three months, September, October, and November. September was a Fairly average at over 5,200 gallons of Jet A. Uh, October, we were over 7,300 gallons. But then November was sterling. Picking, uh, Pickens received a lot of aircraft jet traffic because Cherokee was shut down for runway lighting repair. And as a result, we sold over 14,000 gallons of jet fuel. And as far as total collected, it was over a hundred thousand dollars in sales. Now there's a lot of expense to that. Speaking of expense, on our at the end of last month, our revenue was showing 160 percent, and expenditures were coming in at 116. So we're still chugging along with another month to go. Weather's kind of uh, interfered with some of the plans. We're supposed to restripe the new paving. It's been rescheduled three times minimum due to weather. We have another date that we will try again. And other than that, the fuel is flowing and it looks like for right now, we think the prices are starting to come down slightly. So uh, we're excited about that. So I am. And Randy, just on that uh, November year to date report, uh, Revenues exceed expenses through November 118,000. Yes. And, and Stacy, I I didn't ask you this earlier today. I I assume all the things that we're needing cleaned up have kind of been cleaned up through November. Those that were in error have been cleaned up, but there is additional errors. Okay. And so, I've already contacted her. So okay. We're, we're so there still might be some things there that yes. need correction. Yes. Okay. This there, if you will find it. So, uh, and and we'll, uh, once those are done, we'll circulate those back around. Okay. Yeah. So, any questions for Randy? Anything else, Randy? Uh, no, that's it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all, any questions? Fine. 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 Okay, uh, since our last meeting, the five-year capital improvement plans that we're doing in November of every year, typically at the end of November of this year, um, in October, they moved the deadline and accelerated by three weeks. So, as always, we appreciate we're always working ahead on that, so we're positioned well, so we were able to get that deadline and all good. So that's all in, and that includes all your applications for projects for, uh, for next year as well. Um, as far as the projects on the airport, like Randy said, we basically, so related to the terminal specifically is, we have kind of three, three steps to that. It's part of a bigger overall grouping of five projects, which was the moving the beacon out of the way, um, 
uh, doing the ramp expansion project, which is what's left as the marking, but that also moved the electrical ball, so we could kind of clear the pool to do that expansion. We had the Cretson marking in there, the new AWAS is in there as well, so also in the area we're expanding, we'll put the trim on the AWAS equipment, the old AWAS sits there. That was at the end of its useful life, so we had a grant, um, use the fact that it's aged to leverage getting a grant for new AWAS, the AWAS is installed under a state contract. So rather than us bidding that, that's a turnkey statement. So we don't have the influence over the pace of that like we do on other things. So related to that, we um, have on the terminal building ramp expansion and, and overlay of apron. So we get a, a rather than 100 foot deep, almost 200 foot deep apron. That's what you see out there right now. So the paving's gone down. The marking, um, we're held up by weather, like Randy said. So they've set up a day to do it, and it's got canceled three times so far. This past Monday, they were supposed to do it. I was up there, it was raining the whole time. Previous Monday, they were supposed to. So we'll keep striving to get that done. When that's done, we'll have a final inspection. There's some cleanup and punch those things they do. Then that, that, proposed project being completed, then that becomes the existing project for the site work of kind of the grading that flattens out the area where the terminal will go. So first the project we're finishing, second that site, then third the building itself can go. So what's happened on the building is we have to complete those things in that sequence before they can do the slab and all that. Uh, so on the building, and speaking of them, we hope to be in January beginning to order some things that have a longer lead time mm -hmm. until we work it out. But now um, with that pavement done, you can see where the road comes in, and that'll be a T with a little um, circular drive that goes up under the Clerkshire overhang. And you see how, how skinny that is. So our, our rectangular building long ways will fit in there. So AWAS has to come out. Um, uh, decision made by the authority in the past at the point we got there we will not we have to go without an AWAS for a while and we will have to do it rather than hold up the building because our existing building is in such you know it needs to be replaced <laughs> so AWAS will be moved beacon already moved electrical wall moved um, and then there's some utilities in their coordination and we have to keep obviously water and electric to the existing mm -hmm. terminal <laughs> Well, it's out of the way of the proposed term. So sequentially, think of that, that terminal part being three projects in a sequence. The first one is the ramp expansion. That sets the edge for the second one, which is the site. Third one is the building itself. So hopefully that kind of helps mm -hmm. describe sequence. But, right. but with, that, with that pavement edge you see now, that does let you kind of go up there and see what that will, you know, the area is going to go and all that. And, and I'll also say that when you come around the road up and stop in front of that terminal where the road kind of dead ends now, the terminal is centered on that. Then over to the, um, what is the south side of that building um, from where the terminal ends to the end of this ramp expansion, mm -hmm. uh, that area will be parking lot. So when you come up, we're so skinny on that side, the parking will be the south side. So that will be kind of phased in there at the same time because we weren't maybe yet keep access so right to the existing terminal. What's it, I'm just curious, the time frame to be completed? So the, um, I, I would say that I think in that video, about 270 days, once we started the clock on the building, and, and we're sensitive to the supply chain, them getting things on the yeah. site. So we'll try to jump some of those longer lead times. So if we if we got into that first quarter and got them started, then that would be <coughs> 27, we would get to be in the end of the year, roughly. And we get everything framed in, so they're just working on interior stuff and it gets pulled in. That's roughly what we're looking at. Time. So. And Phil, let's, let's talk about the, the site work for the terminal. Yeah. Because we, we need to yeah. so everybody. When, that, that's right. So the site work for the terminal is, and then we already got the land distributing permit and all that with that. So originally when that was, um, so back up to the, the CW Matthews was a contractor on the apron expansion. So the projects that were the crack zone marking, beacon relocation, um, new wind, LED wind cone, um, uh, AWOS, 
those projects were all together and they were the grant was being written for that and then we got good news which was um, that they were going to add in the terminal building or a, a chunk of the terminal building but they said they were not going to write the grant on the other five projects at that time they would hold and we have to bid the terminal building within four months uh, or lose the, that money and lose all the other money which then put us in a position where, for the site work on the, on the terminal, we were doing the, we were wrapping up the um, hangar projects before any of the hangars put in there. So we had that contractor um, at that time, um, Bartow Paving. We, we had unit prices from that bid, we were just going to extend those and add that site work in. But um, the, uh, from a supply chain standpoint, C, we need C.W. Matthews to do the apron work first. Um, they got hung up where they couldn't get delivery of the electrical vault, which we needed because we were tearing down the vault. So as that held up, Baldwin or man, Barto completed the hangar project and had to roll off. Um, C.W. Matthews, we asked for extended price for them to try to do site work. It's too high, so that site work will actually go out for a bit and that will be it for months. So by the time we get past the holidays, we'll go with whatever the lowest. Uh, um, uh, there that's qualified and we'll bet that out and bring that back to everybody but there's a budget for it and, and that'll put us in a position to, to reset since we can't use those extended prices anymore from Barco. Um, uh, so that's that's what we're doing with that. But it won't it won't delay anything because we, we can't pay we can do some grading we can't pay it until we get some certain temperature of forty five degree and rising for the asphalt. So it'll be in the same time frame that we will be doing it anyway. So we're 30 days on the essentially site work yeah, so you, bidding yes, after holidays. And we would take we're, it, but we're solid on our vertical pricing. So once yeah, site work's done, it. we're ready to go for it. Yeah, you've got all your permits and all that stuff. Yeah. And I'll say there's even some of that stuff like that. When we met, uh, Don and I went and met with, um, with Philip in, um, in um, utilities, and uh, he was going out to look at again, keeping the. Uh, how we wanted to route some of the water and sewer stuff to keep the existing terminal alive and going while we were working on that overall site. So that's all worked out in there. So when we do that bid, we take in consideration, it's 30 days mandatory, we take into consideration of holidays given, or like six weeks or something, so we don't, yeah. don't have anything, uh, you know, uh, we, get, we get the proper responsiveness that we need. So. Does that kind of yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. So, does that kind of give you all the feel for where we are? And, and I'll say that that sequence of three yeah. steps. That's all right. from the beginning. We had we had that was something we had to do. We got to create the site first. So finally, knocking the dominoes down <laughs> one, yes. at one at a time. <laughs> and I'll, I'll also add, as we, you know, we, this is with a. Especially with general aviation airports, that's you know often you've got terminal buildings like that that are built by volunteers back in the day and all that, and where utilities go or kind of whatever worked. So uh, you know there's a process as you will like we found that with the small water line out there that was buried only a couple inches deep. You, you're going to have you know, that kind of stuff come up as you uncover it. Bill, uh, I take that personally. Yeah, right. I wasn't mentioning names. But, uh, but it's much worse on a World War II airport yeah. because you, you're not, at least we're not going to hit any, you know, mines or grenades or anything. So that's good. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, I shouldn't say that. Right, shouldn't say yeah. that. Don't say that. David might have been the one yeah. that buried that water. He may. Right. <laughs> I was there. I didn't do a lot of work. But well, I was there. Yeah. Right. You were. Right. They're easy to locate. You just take a back out there. You'll find everyone. Yeah. 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 If I remember right, Bill Quinton, the commissioner at the time, I think he gave it was six or eight thousand dollars and bought a bunch of materials and mm -hmm. and the guys fell in and built it. Mm -hmm. So and it's lasted. It's sort of lasted. Oh, <laughs> <right. laughs> so how much longer it lasts? Not sure. But it's or, hey, we were glad to have it. Yeah. You should have seen what was there in the early days. Yeah. Oh, you seen y'all seen what an old uh, flywheel chimney container looked like? Mm -hmm. That's basically what we had with the wood mm -hmm. heating. You remember, don't you? Oh, well, it was yeah. on top yeah. of the NDB. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it was um, close to it. They just come over the road. It's actually it was very close to where the terminal's going to be now. 
very yeah. close. Yeah. And, and I will say that since, although it's not, the center line's not marked through there, but the uh, Randy's already using that, that extended ramp, so it lets you circulate things much easier than what you want. The next day we had like seven jets and twins on it, so yeah. <laughs> Weight limit's great. Yeah, way good. Well, one thing in there, it, it's, that's a known thing, it's just to, to deal with down the road, but we, where that terminal's going and the ramp and extension, all that, the tie downs that were out there obviously can't stay there when you're circulating the stuff through. So as you look to, you know, look to the future and try to replace those or, you know, find a spot where you can gain those back, but they, uh, you've got a much deeper ramp now, so that's helpful. Or you can be creative with that. Um, Phil, I didn't pay that close attention to your emails. Did you get clarification on that state contract on the AWOS today, or did you just say so? What, yeah, what you will read in there is that, uh, and, and I took what, uh, so the um, Michael Tross player who emailed Stacy and Randy and Stacy Forder. And I said thank you because it, we get every bit of work. It's good. We we work with them a lot. Everyone in this, their pacing is can be. Um, it's not the same thing as when we have a contract with calendar days and some of the enforcement stuff. So um, uh, Michael Trosco with DBT forwarded to Trent Sanders with DBT, another person that works there, who emailed me only, which I then sent out to you, Stacy, Randy, all of our folks, and said that they. Short version is they hope to be out there working on it mid-January, working on the site. So what I, what I put in my email that sent everybody is, just, just remember FYI, in case somebody asks you, working on it's not the same thing as it's installed and commissioned by FAA, right? Because okay. once it's in, that's great, it looks great, but they have to, it, it's, it, it's got an FCC license uh, associated with it, like a little radio station. So there is, you know, visibly being out there, having equipment out there, does not necessarily correlate to your almost, you know, operational. So if we were guessing, you you may have another, you, know, you may be in a March or something like that. And it's it's they they would have the best guess. So what I wrote in that email just said, just remember. And so if anybody asks you status, that what what he's saying, you may take away. Oh, that sounds like in January. That's just them beginning to install putting the tower up. Um, if we were guessing, then we would say that you're, you're probably going to be another 60 days beyond that or something. But they do have a commissioning step with a step with FAA that, that nobody controls. So that's, um, you know, that is kind of what it is. So it's a bit like a flight check with Pappies. So you, you know, so you're going to hit kind of what we predicted. We're going to be in a position where you, you are waiting on the new AWOS and we can't wait to, to to you know, be tearing up the site and get rid of the old equipment. So we'll talk about that more as we hear information. But what I wrote in the email was, we will check with him on schedule once we get past the first of the year and see if that's evolved. Okay. And did you mention while you were talking there that you're going to try to get the old one back online? Yeah, we ask for quotes. To that. And I'll say, I'll say that while we're talking about that is, for, for anybody who's saying that they think the line got cut by the contractor, that's not accurate. The old vault, the concrete vault that was out there, that's where the power that came into the airport came to, and then went out to the to the AWOS and out to the airfield lighting, and that had to go away in a ramp expansion project. So it's not like somebody accidentally said, it literally went away. So um, now we hit the, the period where you're, if you keep the old one alive, it's not going to be for long, but you get a little bit of service. So we asked for a quote from Trinity Electrical Contractor to hook up from the new vault, run something over there, and, and uh, give us a price to get it to live. The expectation that we, we want to emphasize is it will only live until we got to go in there and, and, and take it down and make the terminal go. Okay. Yeah, so we'll pass that along as soon as we get that. So we will have to evaluate what that cost is versus when we'll start the site work, and whether that cost yeah. is worth and, and that's how exactly, many weeks. And that's exactly what you're evaluating. You're not evaluating against when the new AWAS comes on. You're evaluating with when, when, site when, you, starts. Yeah, when it goes away. Because yeah. it's the first thing. If you look at the ramp expansion, that area sits higher. You can see the dirt sits up several feet higher. It's 
it's got to go because that dirt goes into the hole next to it. Yep. So we'll get the price, share it, and we can make it see what you mean. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Anything else? That's it. Any questions? Okay. All right. Do y'all know of anything old business? Uh, new business, um, we uh, ha have been uh, uh, leased to consider for the horseshoe uh, that we have emailed out and uh, it is, uh, it went out under the, the, the pack out, but it's, uh, uh, y'all know it is Kevin as well. Uh, but it'll actually be under the LLC name of Flaps Up LLC. And uh, they have met the majority of, of the Exhibit A stuff, as y'all have seen via email, the, both the, the layout uh, and, and the rendering. Uh, but what we would ask is um, permission to execute the lease with them subject to the remainder of uh, that Exhibit A, which is primarily the permitting and uh, the documentation of their uh, financial ability to build the, the hanging. So uh, we just asked for a motion for uh, subject to that. I make a motion to make it subject to the final qualifications. Second. All right. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Any other new business? All right. Anything else uh, before the authority? Don, she had, uh, Stacy had asked or mentioned about, uh, someone had asked about a rental discount if they paid it annually. Have y'all had any thoughts on that? Or do we need to discuss that later? Or do you want to tell us? I saw it today. I haven't had a chance to really put arms around it. So. Yeah. Um, I mean, it wouldn't be significant anyway. But it'd be no, I, I think. Uh, Let's, let's look at it and maybe get Stacy to crunch some numbers okay. and see what impact it might have on the budget. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I'm good. Is that all right? I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Anything else? All right. So, motion to adjourn? It is. So, second. All right. We appreciate it. Thank y'all.